I used to be a ball boy in the Champions League games to then now play for your boyhood club, starting and scoring as well, yeah, it's just come a long way. So yeah, the neighbourhood where I grew up, it's called um, Gypsy Hill. Football was very big. There would be like a cage where we would go. My older brother Nathaniel and the older boys would set up the match to play a big tournament. No matter what age, there was big, there was small. The whole community coming together and just, yeah, just playing and having fun together. My brother played against Chelsea, the academy, um, when he was at Fulham. Chelsea scouted him from that game. From there, when I saw that as well, then I just started to like step it up a bit more. Then I remember a few weeks after, Chelsea came in for me. So then I was like, oh, wow. First session was very tough. Transition from um, Sunday League football. I remember the players, because obviously I'm in the same age group as Mason Mount, Declan Rice. And I found it really hard, because obviously the speed and stuff, I had to get used to it. I remember I used to be in the car with my scout when he used to, because he used to take me to training and back home. And I would start to cry in the back of the car, saying, not good enough, like, this is too hard for me. One of our coaches, we said, oh, I'm going to try you at the back. I started doing well there. Then I started to believe in myself more. I had the height, I had the strength. I improved on my speed, my, my head in. I'll say from under 16, only that's when I started to like step up. I think Thiago Silva, from moving to that position, he was my favourite player. Just obviously the fundamentals of defending where to be, how they tackle. Because obviously tackling is a skill. Communication is key as well. Just little, little bits like that to add to my game. So yeah, when I came back from London, obviously the manager knew me from before, from the league, when he was at PSG in the first half of the season. Played over 100 games, so he knew I had the experience. It just, I just needed a platform, because I knew I was ready. We have a group chat where the, they just put the, obviously the travelling squad and that's where I saw my name. And I was so happy. I called my dad, called my agent as well. Let them know I'm travelling. But they'd say to them, I, I probably might just be in, just in the squad, not on the bench, but they said, just have faith. I remember the meeting two hours before the game, and I saw I was in the starting lineup. I was shocked as well, but at the same time, happy and nervous. It will be my first like, UEFA final for the club. I was just, just so pumped up for the game. You want to impress, and you want the chance to get a trophy. And obviously, we ended up doing that, and it was just a great way to, to start the season for me. This is the music I used to hear on the TV and now I'm actually hearing it on the, on the pitch. Running on the pitch, I'm like, wow, making my debut in the Champions League, something I've been wanting to do my whole life. I used to be a ball boy uh, in the Champions League games, to then now play for your boyhood club, starting and scoring as well, yeah, it's just something you can't, you can't describe. For me, that just makes me feel like I've come a long way. I'd like to win it again, obviously. I'm confident enough that we could do well. It won't be easy, but yeah, it will be something. Actually, for me, I have my own private physio. I'm my own private power coach as well. I do a bit of gym with him. I like to do boxing for the cardio side of things. I started this in pre-season. In the Super Cup final, I ended up playing 120 minutes. People won't see that, but I know that's helped me. Yeah, I'm always working on my speed, I think it's very important. So when I was younger, I, that's, what, that's one thing I worked on a lot. After every game, when we get into training, uh, it'll be on the screen. Like The, the max speed we hit, we hit, the work rate, the speeds, the decelerations, everything. My highest would be probably 34 kilometers per hour. That's pretty quick, to be fair, but I think the highest is Timo Warren, I think he's got 36, 37. Timo Turbo, that's what we call him. <laughs> Not everything is going to be in a straight line. It's going to be a lot of ups and downs, and you've got to be willing to go through it and come out of it at the other side. When I started playing football, I wanted to be a legend wherever I'll be be that person that's inspired young kids as well, that's led a good pathway and obviously that's remembered. Yeah, from representing Sunday League team to them, one of the biggest clubs in the world, yeah, it's been an unbelievable journey.